Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you three recipes you can make for Christmas and they all use canned biscuit dough. This video is also a collab with Danielle over at Cookies and Bacon. She's also sharing biscuit dough recipes. Her channel is very similar to mine, so I think you would love her. I'll have her channel linked in my description box below. So when you're done with this video, head on over and check her out and be sure to show her some love. I know you're ready to see these recipes, so let's go ahead and get started. This first one would be perfect for Christmas morning. It's a sausage biscuit and gravy casserole. I started out by browning up one pound of sausage. And while that's cooking over in a separate pot, I'm making two of these packets of biscuit gravy mix following the directions on the back of the package. The sausage is done, so I'm gonna drain it and set it to the side for just a minute. I'm using a large measuring cup here. I added in six eggs, along with half a cup of milk and a little salt and pepper to taste. Give that a really good whisk. Then it's time to put this casserole together. I'm using a nine by 13 baking dish for this. I sprayed it with nonstick spray. You'll need an eight count can of the Grands or Jumbo refrigerated biscuit dough. I just used my kitchen shears to cut each of those biscuits into eight small pieces. I scattered them evenly across the bottom of that casserole dish. Next, I added on that cooked and drained sausage. Then on top of that, I added about one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you like here, or you can leave it out completely. It'll be delicious either way. Now I'm pouring over that egg mixture that we made up a little bit ago. Then I'm topping everything off with half of that gravy. You'll need about four cups total. Right now I'm only adding half. I'm saving the rest to drizzle over the top of the casserole when it's done. I did use my spoon here a little to try to spread out that gravy. Now this bakes at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes or until those eggs and biscuits are cooked through. This is one of my all time favorite breakfast casseroles. I use that leftover gravy to drizzle on top. This is easy to make and it turns out perfect every time. It is so, so good. This next one is a chocolate monkey bread. The recipe called for three of the 12 ounce cans of refrigerated biscuit dough. I grabbed the jumbo 16 ounce cans by accident, so I decided to only use two of those. And I'm so glad I did because my bump pan would not have held all those biscuits. I cut each biscuit into six small pieces. And here's where I messed up. The brown sugar is supposed to be melted down with the butter in a little bit here. So for the biscuit pieces here, just pretend that I only added one cup of granulated sugar and a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. I just used my hands and tossed everything around. Pull those biscuits apart and just make sure everything is completely coated in that sugar cocoa powder mixture. I've got a bump pan that I've greased and sprayed with nonstick spray. If you don't mess up like me, you could just dump the biscuits and sugar and cocoa powder into the pan here. But since I'm about to be needing that cup of brown sugar that I added in when I wasn't supposed to, I just tried to pick the biscuit pieces out and add those in. And I should have sprinkled some of that leftover sugar on into the pan here. Cause you're about to see in a minute here, that was way too much sugar to try to melt into that butter. It looked like I had been playing in the dirt here. Now I'm adding in a little more chocolate. I sprinkled over about a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So I'm taking this leftover sugar here cause I need that brown sugar to add to the butter. Now over to the stove top in too small of a saucepan. I added one stick of butter. I should have let that melt down a little more. So now imagine that I'm just adding one cup of brown sugar here. 
This is way more than a cup because it was mixed in with that granulated sugar. I thought I was never going to get this to melt down. I was making a mess, but it finally melted down. Sometimes things go wrong and you got to be like, hey, how can I fix this? That butter and sugar are pretty well melted together. So now it's time to add it to the pan and I just drizzled it in as evenly as possible. And I do have the recipe linked in the description box below. I recommend following that instead of doing like I did. I put this in the oven to bake at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. Here it is out of the oven. You can see how much those biscuits puffed up. So I would definitely recommend only using two of the 16 ounce cans of biscuits. I let it cool in the pan for only about 10 minutes. If you wait too long, it'll get stuck in there. Then I flipped it over into a pie dish and just prayed it didn't stick to that pan. This turned out perfect. You could dust it with some powdered sugar or even drizzle melted chocolate over the top. I thought it was plenty sweet enough, so I just served it as is. This ended up being absolutely delicious. My husband loved it, the kids loved it, and I think I'm gonna make it again for Christmas Day. This last recipe is ham and cheese biscuit bites. You'll need four ounces of softened cream cheese, so I had to pop mine in the microwave for a few seconds. And to that, I added a tablespoon of brown sugar, about a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I almost forgot the ham. I added about eight ounces of that. And it was cooked ham chopped into small pieces. Now stir that together until that mixture is very well combined. I'm making these into mini bite-sized bites. So I'm using my mini cupcake pan. The recipe calls for the small flaky biscuits separated in half but I just have the jumbo biscuits and I tried to separate them into four pieces. What was I thinking? I had to work with them a little to get them apart, but I just did my best. And they really don't have to be peeled apart. I could have just used my kitchen shears and cut each biscuit into four pieces. Cause all you really need here is a small amount of biscuit dough flattened into a disc and then pressed into each of those muffin cups. So you can see, I quickly gave up on the separating and just started tearing them. I shaped them into a little disc and then laid them down into the muffin cup. And I was looking around for something to use to press that biscuit dough down in there. And I ended up using a little children's medicine cup and I sprayed it with nonstick spray. I just pushed it down in there and then twisted it to get it out. I've got all 24 done here. Now it's time to fill them. I'm using a cookie scoop to scoop that ham and cheese mixture into each one. And you can really get creative with the filling here. There's so many different ways you can make these. I put these into the oven to bake at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. You'll notice that the tops of the biscuits will start to turn golden brown. These are a perfect appetizer. They would be great for a brunch, a holiday party, or anytime you need some bite-sized finger foods. These were so good, and I can't wait to try them out with some different fillings. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to check out Danielle's channel over at Cookies and Bacon and I will see you in the next one.